Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Minecraft video card problem that you get. This is an update on my previous video because the link's broken and I haven't got the file anymore. Um, there's two ways you can do it. There's this way with the bat file. Uh, I'm on a new computer so I don't need to do this fix anymore but I'm showing you the video anyway. There's this file. Uh, that you can make and I'll put it in the description and it's what you have to do after this code is paste where your Minecraft EXE is I'm not even sure where mine is so I'm going to search for it I might have deleted it I think that's it um, okay that's just a failed shortcut uh, so what I'm going to do is just quickly download it Alright, when you got this, uh, don't open it, save it, let me show in folder, uh, I'm just going to cut and paste it to the desktop. Uh, recommend you put it on the desktop because then it's an easy place to find and yeah. Alright, right click it, press properties um, and you see the location, just copy the location, control C to copy. Uh, go back onto this, paste it in. Right now, you want to put backslash Minecraft dot exe. Right, once that's done, um, you can save it, or you can edit the amount of RAM you want to give your Minecraft. This is just going to give it 650 megs. But I've got, if you right-click uh, computer on my computer, if you're on an older Windows find out how much you've got I've got 8 gig so I'm gonna let Minecraft have f 4 um, gigs Just give me a second calculate it. to calculate it depending on how much gigs you got a 1 gig is 1024 so I want 4 gig uh, that, there we go 4,900 no 4,096 4, copy that stick that in there control s to save, right, here's my Minecraft uh, bat. Just want to run that, and it should load up your Minecraft. Right, as soon as it's loaded up, and this is currently running 4 gig using 4 gig of my machine. Uh, you can edit it to if you've got a slow computer and the probably the reason why you get in the error keep it on 650 I think it was on control s uh, run it now see it open much quicker because it's using less RAM uh, you probably want to keep it on 650 but you can change the value if you want uh, just show you that it works oh, I'll log into my brothers what would you like to... yeah I'll update let's <coughs> wait for this to update right I'm gonna show you how to hide this bat file if you don't want this because obviously you don't really want to see all these logs and all that shit um, close minecraft the bat closes itself right, it's what you want to get if you want to hide the bat just get bat to exe um, the CNET one. All these links will be in the description. Don't click the big green button. Click the little blue text. Open that. Uh, I've got 64 bits, so I'm just going to stick that on the desktop. Right, and back to EXE. If you're on Vista or above, run as admin. I open the location of the bat file mines on my desktop, there it is. And it's gonna output to the desktop as well. I'm just gonna rename it because otherwise it will try to replace the file. So I just cut Minecraft um BAT fix. Uh you wanna turn it invisible, leave it on current directory, temporary files, yep, leave that. 
Encrypt no. Don't need, don't need. Include, don't need that. Alright, you can add an icon to the file. I haven't got any icons, I don't think, at the moment, but I'm just going to have a quick look. Uh, where's my pictures? Graphics, image edits. I've only got that one, but you know. Uh, you can edit the information of it, and there's a few more settings, but you just want to press compile. My stupid antivirus. Open normally, remember. Okay. Right, it just created the exe file from the bat. Um, just double. Ch it is an exe. Right, double click this. Open normally, yes, remember. Right, as you can see, my Minecraft's opening fine. I don't get the error anyway, but it's just basically running that bat file, but it's hiding it so you can't see it. So, that's the first method. And now, uh, the second method is probably a more preferred one. It's called Magic Launcher. Um, uh, I'm not sure which one, so I'm, I'll put a link in the description for the latest one. Uh, where the hell's the download button? There we go. Right, just wait for this. You should normally have to wait five seconds, yep. <coughs> right, skip the ad. Download Magic Launcher. When that's downloaded, just stick it on your desktop. Cut. put it on your desktop and then you won't need this bat file if you're using this method so just leave it over there for now uh, run your magic launch you don't have to run it as admin but just do it anyway wait for this to open close this why is it not open oh there we go uh, on magic launch you go and set up uh, you've got your options in here and then you, the options that you want are in options. Uh, where's the RAM gone now? One sec. Oh yeah, go in setup, go on advanced, and is what you want to do is put the settings in here. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, if you copy my resolution size, should put it in 720p. Um, you want to choose how much RAM your thing can have. If you're on a slow computer uh, and you've got over a gig, probably put 1024 or put 650. They'll both work. Um, leave everything else the same and it should work fine. So I'll just press OK. I'm going to log in. Magic launch is better because now you can see my Minecraft is bigger. This is. 10, 8, I mean 720p size and it's good if you're using fraps but the magic launcher is much better because it's more customizable and there's many more options for it and you can also change your app data folder and just customize loads more even your language um, what else was there uh, there's a few more options that I haven't gone over but you could probably find them out yourself but the two methods that I've shown you, this one is the preferred one and I'd recommend using the magic launcher. The links will be in the description. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.